Good day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph, and today I'm sitting here with Kimberly, and we're going to minister to 10 people. So I would like to invite you, if your name is not on the list and you would like to receive prophetic ministry, please write your name in the comments, and uh, I will uh, over time just put you on the list, and I'd love to minister the word of the Lord uh, to you. Uh, also, if you want to support Unity with Heaven, you'll see the I'll put in the uh, pinned comment. I'll put there a link to our teaching channel and also of course you're now on the prophetic channel so I assume that you already subscribed to this but if you haven't subscribed you can just hit that, that subscribe button all right so now we're going to start to minister the first person I want to minister to is Maddie uh, so Maddie the Lord shows me how he puts a spiritual covering on your head now we know in the scripture, uh, Paul talked a lot about the spiritual covering. He said that God is the covering of the man and then the, 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 the woman has to wear long hair because that's her covering and that's a picture of the glory of God on her. And I just felt that the Lord is saying to you that I'm putting a covering uh, on your head and also uh, of protection around you. Uh, and then the Lord showed me how he gave the poor a glass of water or someone that needed help and there was constant kindness that is coming out of your life. And the Lord said, because you've been kind for so long, the Lord is going to bring supernatural provision. And I saw a continuous harvest in your life. It's as if every single month, there's just a supernatural uh, a physical provision supply that God gives to you because you are every month just showing kindness to people around you in your life. God bless you, Maddie. Maddie, please leave us comments. Thanks for this for Dricky. The Lord shows me how you are going right now through metamorphosis, like the butterfly, the, the, the caterpillar that's in the cocoon. And the Lord shows me how you have eaten of the word and, and, and experienced his presence. And now you can just rest in him. And I hear the Lord saying that you just must have grace on yourself in this changing period. That, that, that things are going to start shifting and moving. The Lord just says, have grace on you, my daughter, because you will come out and it's, it's going to be amazing. Hey, Dricky, uh, God loves you very, very much. And uh, uh, you know, in the Beatitudes, it talks there about the one that is hungry. Uh, for righteousness and that they will be satisfied and I felt that you are hungry for righteousness and you will be satisfied uh, God bless you Dricky so John uh, I saw how you align yourself with God but it starts first with a heart alignment and I think you've already done that and then the Lord is busy with a life alignment and so the choices that you make in life where you should go where you should work what you should do with your life where you should live I just see how the Lord aligns all of those things with His plans and His purposes for your life. And then the Lord showed me a river and how He puts you in the river and that the river is a river of God's supernatural provision that He has for your life. And in Revelation chapter 22, we see how the throne of the Lamb is in the river and I felt that the Lord says, I'm also putting you in the river of God. God bless you. Amen. Um... John, please leave us a comment. This next word is for Shanae. The Lord shows me how he is how he is working at you and how he is turning you into something beautiful. He is the he is the potter and we are the clay. And the Lord shows me how his hands has never lifted from you and how he is still molding you and how you are still going to and how you are still going to find your purpose but right now the lord is asking just for your love and for your time to be to, to spend with him be blessed hey shanae uh, god loves you very very much and i just see healing rain uh, i think there's a song about healing rain and i and i felt that the lord is bringing healing rain uh, to your whole family and i, I think mostly uh, um, physical healing and financial healing all right god bless you shanae all right so the next word is for alida all right so alida um uh, I was praying for you and the Lord showed me on that evening of Rosh Hashanah uh, in that time how the Lord put a crown of authority on your head and I felt what God was saying to me is that he's giving you anointing for two things the one was teaching and the other one was evangelism and I really believe that you're going to lead many people into the kingdom of God but then you're also going to teach many and your teaching anointing is in all areas it's physical training um, academics uh, life uh, spiritual things um, how to behave how to be a husband or a wife how to live your life it's, it's, it's just a teaching anointing to coach person you know like a life coach that they can teach a person every part of their life and, and I felt that is 
uh, the teaching anointing and then the evangelism anointing is an anointing uh, not only to bring people afresh into the kingdom of God but also to take them through that first maybe six months or a year of their life where they get baptized in water, baptized in the Holy Spirit, uh, where they get into the word of God and they renew their mind. God bless you, Alida. Amen, Alida. I know I don't need to ask you to write a comment because you do every time. So thank you. This next word is for Mariette. Mariette, the Lord shows me um, how, how he's stirring like this pot. And the Lord is just reminding you that you are the salt of the earth. And he wants you to start bringing some more flavor, even, even more. And I also hear the Lord saying he's calling out your name. But it sounds very far away, but it really isn't. The Lord is really, really close. And I hear the Lord saying that um, if you can't hear me right now, um, he's go I see how the Lord just brings counselors into your life to help clear the fogginess and to help hear the Lord's voice and will eventually show you how to hear the how to how to recognize the Lord's voice even more. Be blessed. Yeah, Marit, uh, because you're such a sparkling person, uh, doors continuously in your life opens up and close and opens up and close. And not every door or, or opportunity that comes in your life is from God. And so that's why the Lord is giving you wisdom to go through the door. And I see there's a, a door, but the door is covered with the glory of God. And then you went through the door. Okay, God bless you, Mariette. Okay, Emery, um, uh, the Lord showed me uh, the the pillar of fire and also the the or actually the column of fire uh, and the the cloud that goes ahead of you and the Lord gave me Psalm chapter forty six where it says be still and know that I am God and I felt that the Lord says I'm going ahead of you and I'm preparing the way I'm putting things in place and so. Although you from yourself like to be prepared and you like to have your ducks in a row, I just felt that the Lord says that He knows your future and He is setting every relationship, every place where you're going to stay, every person you're going to be in contact with or work with or do whatever with. He's putting everything in place and He's like that column of fire and that uh, that uh, pillar of smoke that's going, going ahead of Israelites. He's the one that goes ahead of you and He prepares everything. Uh, and then the Lord showed me a cloud, uh, and the cloud was called the realm of creativity. And I felt that a lot of your provision is going to come out of that creativity. Now, obviously, for the last many years, you've been working in the education, um, can I say, your area. Uh, and um, I felt that your income is going to come less and less from ed education and more and more out of creativity. God bless you, Emery. Emma, Miss Emmy, please leave us a comment. Six word is for Maxine. Maxine, uh, Miss Maxine, the Lord shows me. Uh, he says wipe the slate clean the lord shows me this whiteboard and how you have written down like your year your plan maybe even next year what you want to achieve and i hear the lord saying that no plan is better than his plan your plan is not the best plan his plan is the best plan and the lord shows me how you just wipe it clean even if some of those things there like already scheduled or you know the Lord is there he said okay just wipe it clean and grab the pen again and close your eyes and let me write these words for you let me make the plan for you let me guide you like the good shepherd he is he wants to guide you so don't the Lord says don't make too many plans right now because he wants to come and not shake things up but he wants to lead you a different way be blessed Hey, uh, Maxine, I just felt that God is saying to me, you're going to be very, very productive. And so you don't have to fear. I just see a lot of good things coming out of your life. All right. God bless you, Maxine. Hey, Walter, uh, the Lord shows me the company where you work, how that company strikes an incredibly good deal. And it's almost like they're striking oil and they're going to have the opportunity to make a lot of money and to uh, do uh, a lot of business. Uh, and I saw that you do less and less uh, engineering work and you do, do more and more managerial work. And now the Lord is just helping you to bring up your managerial skills to the next level. The Lord also showed me Solomon and how he gives you the wisdom and the understanding that Solomon had. Solomon had. And then the Lord also showed me the, 
the pastoral anointing upon your life. Okay, so you know um, the fivefold ministry is um, apostle, and prophet, teacher, evangelist, and a pastor. And I felt that the Lord says that anointing of the pastor is on your life. And even there where you work, you're gonna find that the people that are your colleagues are gonna come to you and are gonna talk to you. And there's gonna be anointing of God is gonna rise up uh, on you. And what's gonna come out of you is the care and the wisdom. Uh, of the pastoral anointing to our people and to guide them and so in your your um, manage, managing position that the Lord is giving to you to manage people you're also going to bring in with that managing a lot of love and care and um, wisdom to, to our people. God bless you Walter. Amen Walter. Please leave us a comment. This next word is for Anami. Anami the Lord says have faith. Have faith and, and stay connected with him. The Lord shows me how the enemy has plans to try and I see a carpet that you're standing on and the enemy tries to pull the carpet right under your feet and then they realize that you're not even standing on the carpet but you're like hovering over this carpet. That even though the enemy thinks you have walked right into a trap, it is not a trap because you are there with the Lord and you are going to turn what the enemy meant for evil for good. For that place that they try to lure you in, the Lord shows me how you completely change everything because you allow yourself to, because you allow the presence of God to flow out of you and then to make the decision for you. Be blessed. God bless you, enemy. Family, it was such an awesome privilege for us to minister to you today. Uh, we are going to go live Friday evenings, um, probably 6 or 7 o'clock, I'll, I'll see what time, but uh, we're going to go live and then we will minister again and then of course uh, Saturday and Sunday I'll continue to post videos, uh, 10 people that we minister to every day, so if you'd like to receive ministry just put your name in the comments, I love and appreciate each one of you, God bless. Thank you for joining Unity with Heaven. Remember to subscribe, like, comment and join our newsletter. If you want to support us, please click on the PayPal link. May God bless you abundantly. Remember, you are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.